On November 22, 1963, the day President John F. Kennedy was assassinated, Dallas police said they had their man, a fact disputed to this very day. They also produced what they claimed was the rifle used to shoot the president. There remains widespread skepticism this accused assassin used this rifle, a Mannlicher Carcano, or that the gun was even discharged at all on that day. Let's take a close-up look at the Mannlicher and its unusual-looking ammunition. The Mannlicher displayed by Dallas police was a shorter version of this rifle. Unlike the Dallas weapon, this longer style does not break down into two pieces. According to Wikipedia, Carcano is the frequently used name for a series of Italian bolt-action, magazine-fed, repeating military rifles and carbines during the First World War and by Italian and some German forces during the Second World War. Over the decades, the Mannlicher Carcano was retooled and modified. With the passage of time, the rifles were assembled from parts from various models. Neither Mannlicher nor Carcano appear anywhere on the firearm. This one was authenticated by cross-checking its serial number and this etching on the rifle's stock. This is the 6.5 by 52 millimeter bullet. It looks quite different from typical rounds used today. The firearm uses what's called an en bloc or en bloc magazine. En bloc in French essentially means in one piece. There are no moving parts and on the battlefield, its flimsiness could make this an unreliable firearm. It is widely criticized for being inaccurate and difficult to operate. In a related video, I took this rifle out to the shooting range to check its performance and hear the sound of one of the most widely examined firearms of the 20th century. There's no question the rifle can be a beast to operate. From personal experience, I can tell you that the bolt is difficult to operate and the gun frequently jammed. All right. Here we go. Investigators claim that this particular round, though intact, passed through two men and remained intact even after inflicting several wounds. This too is widely disputed. To this day, there are lingering doubts about the Mannlicher Carcano role, if any role whatsoever, in the assassination of President Kennedy and the wounding of then Texas Governor John Connolly.